In this video, we're going to look at the Manage Quizzes feature in Socrative. Manage Quizzes will allow you to edit or delete a quiz that you currently have, and it will also allow you to create a new quiz. So let's go ahead and click Manage Quizzes. And again, here we can see our options. We can create a new quiz. We can import a quiz. This is a very nice feature if you're working with another teacher and maybe they're doing quizzes for some chapters, you're doing quizzes for other chapters. You can actually share those quizzes between each other so that you have access to all of the quizzes. You can find your quizzes that you have created and you can also look at reports. So remember when you finish an activity, you get the choice of being sent a report. Um, all of those reports are actually saved in your dashboard so that's a nice feature also. So let's go ahead and create a quiz. The first thing that you'll need to do is name your quiz. Uh, you'll notice that by default your quizzes will be shared and when you share a quiz with another teacher you need to give them this number here and when they have that number then they can import your quiz. So once you've named your quiz, you can go ahead and add a question. You have three question types, multiple choice, true, false, and short answer. Let's go ahead and add a multiple choice question. The first thing you need to do is enter your question, and then you're going to give them their answers. Uh, you have to have at least two answers to choose from, but you can have um, as many answers as you want. I've entered my question and the answer choices, and you'll notice that you have an option for correct. In order for Socrative to be able to grade the quiz, you will need to, to mark the correct answer. And with the multiple choice questions, you can actually have one, more than one correct answer. You can also go back and edit, so you see each of them, the question, and each of the answers has a pencil next to that. So if you click the pencil, it will allow you to e edit that question or edit that answer choice. Um, when you're done, you can uh, add, decide if you want to add an explanation so that if the student answers the question incorrectly, you can give them some explanatory information here explaining what the correct answer was and why. You also have the option of adding an image to your questions. So this would be great if you had, uh, if you were identifying states on uh, the United States or countries um, in Europe, you could actually add a question or a map of a picture of a map and um, ask them to identify different areas of the map. And you can continue adding questions. So when you're ready to add another question, you'll select which type of question. Um, and then notice your, your first question is still there. You are able to delete the question. And once you have multiple questions in your quiz, you can see that you can reorder the questions by selecting the appropriate arrow there. You can continue adding questions to your quiz. When you're done, you'll click Save and Exit. And that takes you back to your main dashboard. If we go back to Manage Quizzes and select My Quizzes, we should see the quiz that we just selected. Going back to the dashboard, if you want to start that quiz, you can go ahead and go to Start Quiz. You see the recent quizzes listed here, and you also can access all of the quizzes that you have in your account. Recent Quizzes gives you the last five quizzes that you worked on. So if we go ahead and access Computer Parts, we can go ahead and start that and run that either as a student paste or a teacher paste quiz. Going back to the dashboard and back to Manage Quizzes, we can edit those quizzes by going to My Quizzes, selecting the quiz. You can choose to duplicate the quiz. You can delete it out of your account, or you can choose to edit it. So if you want to add some additional questions to it, if you want to reorder the questions, you can also access the uh, share number that you can give to a colleague or um, someone else so that they can import this quiz into their account. If we are done with this, we can save and exit. If we go back to Manage Quizzes, we can look at the Import Quiz option and here is where you would take that SOC number, um, input that here, and you can import a quiz from another teacher um, into your account. Once that quiz is imported into your account then you can edit it and change it so that it fits your classroom. Going back to the dashboard and back to manage quizzes, uh, we can also access the reports. These are reports from quizzes where you selected uh, to be sent a report. Um, you can actually access them here. These are your recent ones. You can go back to all. You can see just the quizzes, just the space races that you have run, just the exit tickets you've conducted, or even the short answer activities that you've done. Going back to the dashboard and manage quizzes, you see that you have a variety of options when it comes to managing your quizzes, from creating a quiz to importing a quiz that another person has done, to editing and deleting your quizzes and accessing your reports. All of that can be done from the Manage Quiz feature.